Once I changed my AI prompts to what I'm about to show you, I went from publishing content that Google would never rank on page one to content like this that made it to page one in a couple of weeks. I do this by forcing the AI to write content in an NLP friendly format, a format that Google's algorithm absolutely loves to make out with. And in this short action packed video, I'm gonna explain what NLP is and my prompt that you can use to get Google to wanna make out with your AI content. NLP stands for natural language processing. According to IBM, it's a branch of AI computer science that gives computers the ability to understand text in the way human beings can. NLP is absolutely crucial in Google's algorithm. It helps them figure out user intent. For example, Google can distinguish the different meanings of the word bass, as in bass guitar versus bass fishing. The search engine is smart enough to read between the lines of what you typed, and that's because it understands the meanings behind words and phrases, which in turn helps Google understand new queries that they've never seen before. 15% of daily search queries are brand new, first time searches. And most importantly, as you're about to learn, NLP has a heavy influence on Google's ranking algorithms. They use NLP techniques to figure out if content is written well and if humans will enjoy it, or if content is keyword stuff written by AI or a $3 article written by an English as a 10th language writer. The thing is, understanding human language is not an easy task, even for a technology behemoth like Google. And if their NLP algorithm can't figure out what you've written because it's goofy as hell, they won't feel comfortable ranking you high. But if you've written crystal clear NLP friendly content, then they can figure out the search intent of what you wrote, they can establish the semantic relationships, and they ultimately decide to rank you high on Google. So what is NLP friendly content? I'll get to that right away, but I wanted to let you know that I have three once a year deals this Black Friday. Starting November 29th, my SEO agency, The Search Initiative, is offering buy two months of SEO service, get the third month free, limited to the first five signups. My PPC agency, Diggity Media, similarly is offering the same deal. And my video agency, Epic Video, is offering 25% off all of our services. Check out diggitymarketing.com forward slash black dash Friday dash 2024 to learn more. Now back to the video. In order to explain NLP friendly content, let's look at some examples. Example number one, here's an NLP friendly sentence. Cooling pads are effective for reducing laptop overheating. The NLP unfriendly version, to stop laptops from getting too hot, use cooling pads. With the friendly version, the sentence is formed in the most basic English structure. Subject, cooling pads, verb, are, and then the modifier, effective for blah blah blah. The unfriendly version switches this around. Modifier, to stop laptops from getting hot verb, use, and then the subject, cooling pads. One is easy for the search engine, one isn't. Example number two, NLP friendly, banana bread can be made healthier by substituting sugar with applesauce. Easy, subject, verb, modifier. NLP unfriendly, make banana bread less unhealthy by using something else instead of sugar, like applesauce maybe. Now we're getting even more unfriendly. Instead of the simple word healthier, they use a double negative, less unhealthy. And instead of straightforward substitute with applesauce, they're projecting unsureness with substitute with something else like applesauce, maybe. By the way, if you're asking yourself, does this actually work? Prepare to have me answer the out of that very soon. But I need a bit more time to fully explain this concept. The following example is super important because it's an NLP friendly example that is best suited to answer search queries. Let's say you're writing an article to answer the search query, what is the best temperature to brew beer? Somewhere in your article, include this exact sentence in this exact format. The best temperature to brew beer is 68 to 72 degrees Fahrenheit. You echo back the question, use the verb is, and you give the answer with any appropriate units if applicable. This is absolutely crystal clear that you gave an answer to the search query. By the way, here's a quick word from the sponsor of this video, Search Intelligence. This campaign got us big links in websites such as Lifehacker, Wells Online, Daily Record, and about 20 other news websites. Let me show you how we've done it. We knew that people will be flying a lot this summer, and we knew that journalists will be writing about this topic a lot. So, on behalf of our client, we put together a nice guide about how to fall asleep on the plane. Then we use Muckrack to find journalists who write about travel. Then we put our advice in a nice email and send the tips to the journalists. Within just a few days, the links started landing, securing our client natural placements in really big websites, just like this, this and this. This is a great example about how you can leverage seasonal trends to earn links to a website. Anticipate what journalists want to write about at all times and give them the stories that they need. They will reward you with some great juicy links. I hope this is helpful. Now back to the video. 
See this article I wrote on what is affiliate marketing? Well, of course I wrote affiliate marketing is the process of receiving payment after you promote a product or service on behalf of another business. But also you see this section here on the key term affiliate network. Here's my NLP friendly answer. An affiliate network acts as an intermediate platform, da, 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 subject, verb, modifier. In this section here for how does affiliate marketing work? Here you go, affiliate marketing works by da, 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 same concept. Here's another example that my buddy Corey Tugberg likes to share at conferences. Sentence number one, financial advisors help families achieve financial independence. Sentence number two, Families achieve financial independence with the help of a financial advisor. These seem like they're saying the same thing, but because of NLP expecting the main subject at the front, the first sentence focuses on financial advisors, while the second sentence focuses on families achieving financial independence. Two totally different sentences. So as you can see, to write NLP-friendly content, you need clear sentence ordering. And you want simple, non-ambiguous word selection. Clear and simple wins the game. Note that NLP-friendliness is different than NLP optimization. NLP optimization is about making sure that your content includes keywords, entities, and phrases that exist in the top ranking articles. NLP-friendliness is about clarity and making sure the algorithm has no doubt about what you wrote. Now the question you might be asking is, does the algorithm really reward NLP friendly content. Hold my beer. I set up a single variable test publishing NLP friendly and unfriendly versions of the same article on my test sites. The keywords are goofy as hell and have no competition on purpose so we can see movement. Keyword, does Taylor Swift love Katamari Damacy? One of the best Japanese video games of all time. The NLP friendly article started at position 48 and it took a while, but eventually rose to 35. The unfriendly article started at position 43, but then shit the bed and dropped to 46. Here's another one. Keyword, will starfish win the 2007 Christmas Olympics? Stop judging me for having fun. NLP friendly article started at 46 and made it to 22 quite fast. The unfriendly one farted out at 32. Okay, you're convinced. Now let's teach you how to prompt for NLP friendliness. Behold the giga NLP prompt. Chat GPT, create content strictly adhering, the word strictly is very important, to an NLP friendly format, emphasizing clarity and simplicity in structure and language. Ensure sentences follow a straightforward subject, verb, object order selecting words for their precision and avoiding any ambiguity. Exclude filler content, focusing on delivering information succinctly. Do not use complex or abstract terms such as meticulous, navigating, complexities, blah, blah, blah. These are all filler words that both humans hardly use and NLP doesn't care for. This approach aims to streamline content production for enhanced NLP algorithm comprehension, ensuring the output is direct, accessible, and easily interpretable. Okay, now here's the thing. When you tell the AI to go hardcore NLP, the content comes out a little bit dry. SEO is blank. Backlinks are blank. The algorithm loves it, but humans don't. So here's where you balance that out. ChatGPT, while prioritizing NLP friendly content creation, 60%, also dedicate 40% of your focus to making the content engaging and enjoyable for readers, balancing technical NLP optimization with reader satisfaction to produce content that not only ranks well in search engines, but is also compelling and valuable to a readership. Now let's give this thing a test drive. ChatGPT, create me a hundred words of content on what is HTML. And voila, HTML or hypertext markup language is the core language for creating web pages. Structures web content through markup using tags to define elements like headings, paragraphs, links, and lists, and so forth. Doesn't get much better than this. This content is ready to publish. By the way, if you like this, I have something that's absolutely 100% free for you. In fact, I'm giving you $100. NLP friendly article writing is something that Surfer AI does really well. I know because I was instrumental in its design. It also optimized your content based on the frequencies of the entities, words, and phrases found on the articles already at the top of Google. So what you end up with is a ready to publish article that's already optimized. To claim $100 worth of free Surfer AI credits, no strings attached, head on over to surferseo.com forward slash Matt Diggity today.